Hey, it's Dave. Welcome back to my channel. So it's Sunday, and uh, I had a bunch of gigs this weekend, and uh, now we get ready for the week of teaching, and I thought I'd come on and just uh, do a little quick short video. You know, it's funny, I was I played, I think it was Thursday night, and I see a poster in the club for a band. It's like an ACDC tribute band, and I'm like... It might be the sixth poster I've, or the sixth band that I've seen have a poster within like a 25 mile radius. Um, someone feels the need that there needs to be six ACDC tribute bands, which at the beginning, now that I think about it, I should have opened with an ACDC song, but it's just, uh, it, it's crazy. I'm, I'm just wondering what, what are people thinking? Like, hey, you know, um, we should do an ACDC band because no one's. Do, no, one person's doing it? Yeah. Oh, it, four? Five? I mean, it's like, what the hell? I mean, I think it's hysterical, but I'm just like, hey, uh, who's playing tonight? Any good bands? Yeah, there's an ACDC tribute band over here. Um, there's an ACDC tribute band over there. They, oh, they're much better. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they do more songs off of. I mean, it's just, I don't know. It's uh, It's very funny to me. Anyway, so that was what was on my mind. I just thought there was like a hilarious amount of ACDC tribute bands in the Massachusetts area. And I've gotten uh, quite a lot of uh, email messages and, and other messages and uh, regarding lessons and stuff like that. I do do lessons on Skype uh, if you want. I also do them locally here if you're in the area as well. I wanted just to keep this short. I really didn't have much to talk about. But also, um, you can follow me on Instagram at Dave underscore Levine. It'll be right here. Or you can follow me on Twitter at The Big Angry. And, um, you know, throw me a message if you'd like. If there's uh, something you want to see, something you want to hear, if there's a lesson that you want me to do. Other than that, there's really nothing much going on in the music news. I mean, Gibson kind of had this uh, bankruptcy thing going on. And um, I, I don't think that the consumer is going to see any change other than the fact that probably the prices will come down and they'll get rid of some of those superfluous models that I think are, are stupid. Um, that, you know, and, and for a lot of money, too. So... You know, some people are like, oh, is it rock and roll? Is it dead? Is the guitar dead? Well, Taylor's making, you know, they're basically printing money over there in Spruce and Rosewood. I mean, Taylor's doing amazing. And um, there's plenty of guitar companies out there that are doing fantastic. So I would not uh, fret about the end of the guitar and all that nonsense stuff. Or, um, you know, it's funny. I also see, like, a lot of people knocking the fact that, like, people perform with laptops and, like, bands do electronic music i love it all i i think there's some great stuff out there i think um i think paul oakenfold uh i love that uh korean version of uh, ready set go that's from the movie collateral i love that song and i i love like a band called fila brasilia they have an album name that tune and i love that record i love like a lot of electronica stuff and I think anything that you can use to make musical to do something different. Not that it has to be different, because God knows you got to have a song. And if you don't have songs, forget about it. It's like, um, and I really feel like today, it's like music is just so derivative. And it's like stripped down and bland. Uh, I went to go eat today. And the place where I was eating, I was like, I cannot stand the music in the place. It was like all acoustic stuff. They even had like a piano version that sounded like Rob Thomas of Matchbox 20 sitting at a piano playing push on a piano. Like, I need to hear that. Like, I need somebody to just hit me in the head with a hammer repeatedly. But anyways, it's like, I don't need to hear that stuff. I think the 90s, for the most part, there was so much stuff that's middle of the road and blah. That it's like, you know, a lot of people say like, oh, the 90s is like the resurgence of the 70s. Well, somewhat. A very small fabric of it. You know, you have like bands like Soundgarden kind of wove in the Black Sabbath Led Zeppelin feel with the open tunings and the instrumentation. And that was good. And, and there were some other cool bands. A few. But for the most part, then you had all this middle of the road rock. The Hootie and the Blowfish. 
the um, there's a, it's just too many to mention the Goo Goo Dolls that I just feel like it's just so middle of the road and blasé that like at least when in the 70s the stuff that was like the middle of the road and the easy listening stuff there was some really nice chords and harmony going on in the music you know they were there wasn't just uh they're not just playing triads and and uh well i should say i mean they were playing there was some there was some deeper harmony going on in there whereas you know in the 90s it's a little bit of what what goes on in country today which is Everything pivots around like two notes in a chord, and they use two note common tones. And uh, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'll probably do a whole thing on on the acoustic guitar because uh, when I teach, even when I teach beginners, I I do not teach what I call uh, campfire G. You know that regular G that you first learn. I just don't teach that chord. I I, I show it to you like way later. I, I don't think it's important to play. If you're going to finish a song, which, you know, when you're beginning playing guitar, you never get to the end of the song, so it doesn't matter. But for the most part, that G and the B that are so close together and the bass on it, to me, sound ugly. And I just hate the sound of that chord. It just doesn't sound pretty. And when you listen to records, everyone's always playing like that G5. Um, and and then when they go to the C, they keep the, the, the two on the top, and then the bottom just changes to the root, to the C, which becomes a C add nine, but still it's like that. And then the E minor seven. So everything's always that D and G are always on the top. And that was like the start in the nineties. And now it's uh, the whole I mean, country thing. The country, if you want to call it country, the country rock thing does it. But anyways, I didn't really want to go on long today. I just wanted to make a quick little video, throw up a new song. I just felt like playing a little bit. But um, again, once again, thank you so much for all the uh, subs. And if you could, follow me on Instagram at Dave underscore Levine. And follow me at on Twitter at The Big Angry. And as always, very good. That's kid stuff. Kid stuff? How about the tunes? You're right on target. You're right on the money. Everything you said. You hit the nail right on the head with your comments, what you're saying today. You're 150% correct.